Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at table tabs inside Filament. Now, I already have a video on tabs, but that one is focused on form tabs, basically this edit and create page. Today, we're going to be uh, working on our table page or also known as the list page and add custom filter tabs at the top right over here. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. So go ahead, open up your editor. In this case, uh, I'm going to add these tabs for this post resource, right? So in order to add the tabs, you need to go ahead, find the folder that is for your uh, for your resource. So in this case, I'm doing it for the post resource. There should also be a folder with the exact same name. Okay, so it's called post resource. Open up that folder. Inside of it is going to be a bunch of files. Okay, so there usually there should be a create, edit, and list unless you have manually added or deleted some of them. Go ahead and open up the list post, which is the page we need to use. So this is actually the file you need to go ahead and add your tabs now in order to do that we need to go ahead and add a method okay so the method is called get tabs so let's go ahead and do public function get tabs so a simple method and this uh, method actually returns an array okay so that's all we have to do go ahead and add this method on your get whatever your resource name is. So get post for my, for me, it might be get comments, whatever you have, whatever your model name is. And the inside here, we obviously need to return an array. And inside this array, you can define all your tabs. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first part is you need to go ahead and give it a key. So this is going to be the button name for your tab. In this case, I'm going to say all to get all the records. And then after that, you can go ahead and add a new tab. Now, there are a couple of different classes with the name tab. So you need to be careful which one you import. The one we need to import is going to be filament, resources, pages, list, record. So make sure you go ahead and add this one or import this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and click it. And let me also show it to you guys in case you want to manually add that. It is use filament, resources, pages, list, records, tab. Okay. And then after that, you can go ahead and call make. Now we can pass a name here if you guys would like. It's actually not required or a label. I'll just leave it empty. So this is going to be our first tab, which is all. Now this will just create an empty tab without any custom filters applied. And since this is all, I'll just go ahead and leave it empty. Let's go ahead and create another one. For this one, I'm going to say published. Now for my posts, if you guys haven't watched the previous episodes, I basically have this Boolean field of published, right, which can be true and false. And uh, let me show you guys the migration as well. Basically, it's a Boolean field. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and add a simple filter that allows me to, you know, filter by this published post. Okay. So after you make your uh, tab, go ahead and call a method of modify query using. So add this method. And this method actually accepts a closure. Okay. So you can pass it in either an arrow function or an anonymous function. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and add an anonymous function. Since I think most people are already familiar with how to use them. And inside this anonymous function, you need to accept a query argument okay that's all you have to do and this is going to be a class of type query builder so that you can do any eloquent uh, method you want so in this case i'm going to say query where published you know is equal to true okay so anything you can do with regular eloquent methods you can also go ahead and do over here okay so if you want to do for example uh, where date whatever you want you can go ahead and add over here now by default if you're using i believe php storm or vs code you're not going to get any auto suggestion so if you want to add, have that, you need to go ahead and actually uh, kind of type in this. Okay, so in this case, I can go ahead and say a builder. Uh, let's do it one more time. So we need to go ahead and add Illuminate Database Eloquent Builder. If I can find it, Illuminate Database Eloquent. So this is the one we need to import, this one. Okay, and if you add that, if you're on VS Code, you should be able, and if you have the proper plugins, you should now get auto suggestions. Right now, if I type in, as you guys can see, I get where column, where date, where day, all of these. So if you want auto suggestion, make sure you also type hint it. If I remove this type hint and I type where again, uh, we don't get any auto suggestion. So just something to keep in mind if you guys are wondering why auto suggestion is not working. So that's all we have to do. Let's go ahead and add one more. Uh, I'll do unpublished, I suppose, and kind of the opposite. Okay, so we're published is false. So that's all we need. You can go ahead and define as many tabs as you like. So let's go back, reload the page. And now you should have these tabs at the top. Okay, it looks very nice. And now if I click on published, if you guys take a look before I click on it, we have three posts. If I click on published, we now have two posts. And if I click on unpublished, we get the one post that 
wasn't published. So a very nice, easy to use uh, way to filter your uh, tables. Of course, on the previous episode, I showed you guys how to use these filters over here. It kind of achieves the same thing, but I think this one has a bit of a different UI and I think it also looks nicer. So if you have like, let's say statuses on your, uh, you know, model or you have states, this is a nice way to filter by different states. But of course, you can use it for anything else you like. So that's it, guys, for today's episode. A very simple topic on using tabs. Now, I do like to mention one thing before we leave. Uh, I will also have the link for documentation uh, in the description. But there seems to be a typo in the description in the documentation regarding the import. It says to import using filament resources components tab. This actually does not exist. So I'm not sure if this is from filament two or filament one but this is actually the wrong import as far as I'm aware. So you need to actually import this one, the one I mentioned for list records. So if I just go ahead and copy the one they recommend on the documentation. And of course, I didn't know that. I was just researching for the video and I realized I always uh, auto imported it using VS Code. So I never noticed this, but it is indeed wrong in the documentation. So if I change it up with this and I save and I go back, uh, it tells us that not found. So I'm not sure what's the issue in the documentation. So if you're copying this from the documentation, just be aware that the import is correct, at least as I'm recording uh, by the time of recording this video. So it might get fixed in the future. So that's it, guys, for today's episode. I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you like the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.